It is therefore my hope that we will identify and propose workable solutions to fill the gaps in pandemic response capacities and exchange views on the emerging security threats and opportunities, as well as opportunities associated with the pandemic. The pandemic has impacted regional and global peace and security efforts due to the fact that attention is increasingly being devoted to domestic and national pandemic response efforts and diverted from peace and security spheres. The pandemic has also disrupted diplomatic efforts towards regional crisis management and conflict resolution endeavors, thereby creating the potential for escalating tensions and the reversal of the gains made over the years in peace building. The pandemic, coupled with the globalization of terrorism and violent extremism, has posed an even greater threat to international peace and security. Several countries continue to experience protracted armed conflict, including from activities by non-state armed groups, as well as a marked humanitarian crisis, often with a significant trans-border and global dimension, as well as facing the ever-present threats of terrorism. There has also emerged an even greater need to safeguard vulnerable populations from recruitment in the midst of shifts in food insecurity, unemployment, the cyber environment, and education. As countries focus intensely in combating the pandemic, it has become increasingly vital to espouse a, bro a broader security paradigm to ensure that the focus on the pandemic is not creating room and avenues that belligerent actors can exploit to further outrageous agenda. The recent incursions, for example, in northern Mozambique by Islamic insurgents and the capture of the port of Mokuba de Priya and de Cabo Delgado province in August is a reminder that even as we battle the pandemic, those who seek to foil peace for violent aggressive interests remain active. Many African governments have directed their limited resources towards COVID-19 pandemic response measures at the expense of the fight also against other diseases such as malaria, malnutrition, tuberculosis, HIV AIDS. The pandemic will undoubtedly further consume further resources meant for development programs, risking reversing decades of progress in the fight against poverty and inequality. Therefore, the need for shared interventions and responsibility towards peaceful, equitable, sustainable societies is greater now than ever before. Your Excellency, the push for technical assistance, capacity building and enhanced coordination to strengthen global counterterrorism capacities, including through the Counterterrorism Committee, the Office of Counterterrorism and other UN entities, the African Union, regional economic communities, and other mechanisms are key to building appropriate and harmonized actions. Kenya hopes and aims to provide leadership in the Horn of Africa by exploring and implementing diplomatic measures in counter-terrorism financing and to work with partners in, in the broader spectrum of efforts within counter-terrorism as well as to stem other forms of transnational organized crime. Through Kenya's non-permanent member seat at the United Nations Security Council, Kenya further aims to contribute to global peace and security with the ultimate goal being the attainment of sustainable development for the year 2021 to 2022. And our nation acknowledges that peace and security challenges do not respect geographical boundaries. Nevertheless, we will continue to partner with you, Your Majesty and all actors to ensure that all urgent measures are taken as we move along to battle the pandemic, to also ensure that we curb acts of terrorism and other forms of violent extremism as becomes necessary.